Hi guys, it's B2P Joe here. B2P Liam is behind the camera and today we're at the former site of RAF Hornchurch. Whilst today is a country park in the First and Second World War, it was actually an airfield. Because it was an airfield, it was strategically important. So there's various pillboxes and other defences scattered around the site, which we're going to take a look at today. As soon as you arrive at the site, you'll spot something in the car park, which used to be a dispersal pen to protect aircraft from being bombed. Although the entrance is now blocked off, originally it would have led to an air raid shelter. One thing the park isn't short on is pillboxes. We found four scattered around the park, most of which you can go in. So this here is a Type 22 pillbox and um, it's quite an interesting example because there's no actual doorway visible. Um, there's actually a firing slit on every single side of this six-sided hexagonal pillbox. So you might think, how did people actually get inside to fire out? And the answer is, they would have had a lower sunken entrance originally. Um, you can just see a concrete line around the edge um, and we'd imagine that a doorway actually dipped down a lot of the earth around it has been raised up since. Um, but the idea is on an airfield such as Hong Church you would have had a 360 degree arc of fire um, by having a sunken doorway. Another concrete remnant on the site are Tet turrets. Only a handful of these rare defences were ever made and were designed for a solo man to stand inside them. So despite the weight of the top of the Tet turret, um, it's solid concrete, but actually you would have been able to swivel this entire top of the turret round in the day um, on a bearing system that must have been very smooth. Um, you'd have a Bren light machine gun um, pivoted on this um, metal piece that's still here today and um, basically it could be turned round um, to face any direction on the airfield um, keeping a low sunken profile um, so yeah these were actually a great defence but th this is one of the few remaining in Britain to this day. After exploring the country park we headed along the road to explore more of RAF Hornchurch. Administrative and accommodation buildings still remain today although converted for modern use. So behind me here is Astra House, which would have been the officers' mess for their recreational life. And behind that is Astra Court East, which would have been the officers' accommodation. So we started the video on a peel box and we're ending it on one as well. We covered quite a bit of the former RAF Hornchurch site here and we've seen quite a few different things as well. It's got our legs in use, we've taken god knows how many photos um, and they will all be on our website beyondthepoint.co.uk. Of course don't forget to subscribe to us, like us on Facebook, but for now thanks for watching. <laughs>